Hello everyone, UK has announced a big change in their COVID restrictions. They have scrapped the plan B. So plan B is scrapped in the UK. What is plan B? What is going to happen if the plan B is scrapped? Is there anything else going to come after scrapping the plan B? Let's see in this video. Welcome to the analysis. This is Sundar Ayapan. Please subscribe and like my channel and video. Your encouragement helps me to more video. Let's get into the video. What is plan B? When the plan B is scrapped, what are the benefits of scrapping the plan B? So plan B was introduced during December before the start of Christmas that the people need to wear face mask and then work from home. All those new restrictions have started. Now government is saying that plan B is scrapped and they are saying that work from home restrictions is removed. So people can go back to their offices and start working that work from home guidance is removed. That's one major change. And also in schools, the secondary schools, pupils that the students are asked to wear face mask while in sitting in the class and also even going through the corridors or during lunchtime or canteen. All these restrictions are removed from tomorrow. This is for secondary school students in UK. No need to wear mask in the class from tomorrow onwards. That's a major change. It has been announced. That is part of the plan B scrappage. So government removing this plan B is a big step. However, the COVID situation in UK as part of this Omicron variant is around 360 people have died today. That average is around 200 people every day. 200 people are dying in UK as COVID complications and also 100,000 people positive cases are coming in UK every day because of the Omicron. Having said that, there are a lot of deaths and a lot of positive cases. Government is saying that the booster vaccine and then the vaccine for the school going children. All these COVID vaccination programs has made UK people with more antibodies. Hence, the government is saying confidently we can remove these restrictions. It will not have any major impact. And what they are saying is the number of people admitting into the ICU is reducing. From next Thursday, as part of the plan B scrappage, no need to wear face mask in the closed environment. If you are going to shop previously in plan B, you have to wear face mask. That is removed from next Thursday onwards. If you are in a closed indoor space like cinemas or any events, which is closed door and also in shopping centers, you should wear mask. That is being scrapped from next Thursday. Also, the government is saying you no need to show COVID passes for any large events. For example, if you're going for a football match, cricket match, or if you're going for any other programs, you have to show COVID passes. COVID passes nothing but either you have to show that you are vaccinated two doses or you have to show that you have sufficient antigen, that is COVID antibodies in your blood. That will That is called COVID passes. You no need to show that uh, from next Thursday onwards. Also, government is planning to remove the self-isolation. Even if you are COVID positive, no need to self-isolate. That is going to happen from March 24. That's the end of the self-isolation plan. From March 24 onwards, no need to self-isolate. Even if you are COVID positive, we don't know how it is going to pan out. If any other variants comes, government might change this plan. But that is the plan government has announced. Another thing is the self-isolation time will be reduced from 10 days to 5 days. That's a big change. If you are COVID positive and then you are asked to work from home or if you have to stay at home, you don't, you cannot go out. That is being reduced from 10 days to 5 days. You have to take a PCR test. That is the confirmation of your COVID positive. And then after 5th day and 6th day, through lateral flow test, if you prove that you have negative lateral flow test results, then you need to continue to self-isolate that's that's the major change the government has announced so the plan b is scrapped and this helps a lot of industries a lot of retail venues a lot of sports venues to come back to normal with more uh, people being allowed to visit and then uh, come and uh, enjoy the evenings and then nightclubs all those things so what will happen is this will create more jobs in the uk the theme parks uh, pubs restaurant hotels will not have any restriction no need to wear mask inside so that will make a a big boost to the industry and then the business that's a major change they announced the plan b is scrapped and soon uh, the self isolation will stop after march 24th that's that's another two months time is there anyhow plan b is scrapped that's a major news in this uh, video hope this helps anyone coming to uk for study work or tourism purpose flights between uk and india or india to uk is not, it's running but which is restricted flights are there so one day bar are, are those kind of restricted flights are there but if you come to uk no need to take pre departure covid test that's the requirement from uk side but uh, other countries will have different rules and regulations if you enter through uh, any transit so keep in mind if you are traveling through any other countries for direct flights if you come to uk from india no need to do pre departure covid test it's just lateral flow test is enough no costly test is uh, required hope this video helps we'll see in the next video until then take care bye